Hey guys, Jason here. So here we are. I put the uh, the Falcon Mach 4s on my little 500. <laughs> Poor little guy. You don't need that at all, but I put them on there just for the fun of it. You know, it's on my test pole after all. <laughs> And the winds are still blowing off and on. They seem to be dying down a little bit now. And I don't know why he's pointed this way. He's in a really dirty wind location. Let's see. Uh, that guy up there, he's going. The old school 1600 Missouri wind and solar. He's still spinning. Let's see what this guy's going to do. I don't know. Maybe I'll get some wins here. 80 inch Falcon Mach 4s. <laughs> They're way too big for whatever I have. But I love the sound they make. <laughs> My little 500. Poor little guy. All I use him for is testing stuff out. It's less than 10 foot off the ground. But I went ahead and I just hooked them up just for the fun of it. I need to actually put them on a pole and just messing with them. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm shivering. It's a little chilly out here. But yeah, there they are. Um, I want the 80, or the uh, Falcon Mach 3s, not the Falcon Mach 4s. Falcon Mach 4s are just way too big for me. They're, they're made for like the dual core PMA. That's what they were designed for, I think. <laughs> but yeah, this guy back here on the test pole, he doesn't get a whole lot of wind. But Pretty cool. My little 500 still flying. I like it. Man, I'm shivering. Hit the stabilizer again. I always hit the stabilizer because I'm always shivering. Cool. You look how nice and easy these things track in the wind. Even in these really dirty wind locations like this this one is right now. Alright you guys, I'm going to go back in. Thanks for watching.